So I said there's a third database called Disaid. I really wouldn't suggest using it. So I have a username and password. But if you're going to do flu, I really wouldn't use it because, <sighs> right, look at this interface compared to the other one. So I'm picking A. So I've got my 18 and I've got my 11. So, okay, I'll pick, uh, I'll do the same as I did last time. So I went H5, N8. Wanted from all, co all hosts in all locations. And I just want to click on the HAs. So I do the search on that. And that gives me 1930. So a lot more sequences than I did before. So I can pick all of them again by clicking on that particular button, which hopefully then picks all of them. Yeah, it does. Good. And then I can download them. And I can download them as sequence protein faster. So it'll look like this. But the problem that I have here is the faster heading, you don't really have the things that I want. So I want to know the host. And the host's not an option. The host is contained in the strain name. Let's put lineage in because at least that'll be semi useful. The date format, that's okay. It's okay, it's okay. So let's go for download. Oops, select or release one protein. I want the HA. That's why I clicked before, and I didn't realize lineage was already in there. Right. Okay. Download. So it's not zipped it. Come on. Finish. Right. Uh, let's go to the download directory and it's this one. So I'm going to open it with Notepad. <sighs> so the problem is with this, you've got all of this gump here in the headers, which is totally and utterly uninformative. <sighs> the only thing that's useful and telling you anything about uh, the particular organism is embedded in this part, which is the strain name. So for you to find a way of filtering this data to pick out the interesting things, it's a lot harder than doing it through the other systems. And when we come, remember when I was using Mega, when I used Mega, it had the name of each of the sequences on the left. Well, look at the names it's given you for this. It's got loads of stuff that you really don't care about. Like right? you don't care they came from the National Veterinary Institute. I don't care about this silly EPI number. I d only care about that particular depositing name and the strain name from here. It's the only things that I care about. <sighs> so I just find to say data difficult to deal with. And most of this data, well, some of this data at least is in the IRD and the NCBI. The ones that are in GISAID and not in the other two is because there's a problem with data sharing and GISAID doesn't like sharing data. 